Let's talk Tanya for the 12th of Tishrei. Today we conclude chapter 20 of Vigar Sakhidish. It's been a journey. And as we've mentioned on many occasions, the primary idea of this chapter is the revelation and the manifestation of the infinite light of God, specifically in the lowest level of everything. And as we concluded in the last day, um, how the light of God is manifest specifically, the infinite light of God is manifest specifically in doimem, in the lowest element of this world, in the earth, which is why the earth has the infinite ability to create something from nothing. With this, the Alter Rebbe tells us, we actually are able to understand something which at least philosophically is puzzling. We have the four elements, doimem, tsemea, chai, medaber, which is um, the inanimate, and then you have that which grows, vegetation, and then you have animal kingdom, then you have human beings, and that's the order. The lowest one is the inanimate, and the highest one are the human beings. And you would think that if the human being is the highest, and the animal is the second, and the vegetation the third, and the inanimate is the fourth, so you think that each one, as it grows progressively lower, requires or somehow needs the higher one for sustenance. The lower one should emerge from the higher one, or should need the higher one. But instead we find it's actually the exact opposite. Vegetation grows from the earth. In other words, the earth produces the vegetation. And then the animals need both vegetation and the, and the inanimate to survive, to eat. And human beings, we survive off all of the lower elements, which is kind of funny. That means that so it's almost as if the higher is sprouting from the lower. But by now we understand, because of this idea of Noach Tchilas on Besoifan, because the infinite light of God, which is present and revealed most in the lowest element, which is earth, and that has a rebounding effect, what's known in Kabbalah as Oyer Chayzer, the light that rebounds. So therefore, yes, vegetation requires the light which is in the ground, and the animals require both of those, and human beings require the three that are beneath that. But now we get to the primary point of this entire letter, and this is in the last lines of the letter, which I'd like to read for you inside. The Alter Rebbe says, After these words of truth that we've just discussed, it is easy to understand through everything that we've learned above. The tremendous greatness and advantage of physical mitzvahs, mitzvahs that are done in action. That is the purpose why our souls came down over here into this physical world. As the Pasuk says, that we're all here today in order to do, to act. One hour of tshuva and good deeds in this world is greater and better than the entire world to come. In many other places in Hasidus, we talk about the value of the lowest level, in that the lowest level is so lowly, it is so incredibly lowly, and we are able to bring the divine light into the lowest level. But here in chapter 20, in Nigeris there's the big chiddush, the big idea over here, is not so much that it's lowly and we're bringing the light into it, but actually the inherent advantage of the lowly world, of our world, of the earth, the lower something else, the lower something is, the more the infinite light of God is revealed and expressed in it, which is why the soul comes down here to this world to do mitzvahs, to be able to engage the physical world and be able to benefit from the, from the infinite light of God, which is actually manifest over here in this lowly realm, in this physical world. And to end this chapter as we started this chapter, saying that this chapter was written in the concluding days of the Alter Rebbe's life, in the week before he passed away. And the final words of this chapter are amazing. The, the Alter Rebbe ends the chapter with, one hour in this world is greater than the entire world to come. Yes, the Alter Rebbe is about to go to the next world. And what's the Alter Rebbe thinking about? Just how incredible and how amazing this world is, and our ability to interact with this physical world we're in, we have this incredible manifestation of the infinite light of God. With this, we finish this chapter. Tomorrow we start chapter 21, another letter on the topic of tzedakah.